going to talk about the difference in um, motors between the US Filter Max motor and the typical motor you'll find on the direct drive. This is, you see these mounted directly to the bottom of the centrifuge. You can see it's open top and bottom for ventilation. US Filter Max um, motor obviously is much bigger and it's sealed all the way around top and bottom, totally enclosed and fan cooled. Next thing you'll notice, um, the power of a motor is directly related to the amount of copper and iron that's in the motor. Uh, this motor here weighs 13.4 pounds, it's one-third horsepower. This one weighs 43.4 pounds, it's a lot more copper and iron in this. Uh, this is 1.5 horsepower, it's a high torque motor. Um, the one, one issue about um, having an open frame motor uh, single phase anyways, uh, is they have contactors in it. When the motor starts, contactors are closed and they bring in the starting capacitors and when it gets to speed they open. When they open you get a little spark in there between the opening and closing of the contacts. This is totally enclosed and the contacts are not exposed to the, uh, the atmosphere or the oil. Or there, there's a much reduced risk for uh, starting a fire, having an explosion. While it's not rated explosion proof, it's a huge improvement over these open frame motors with open contacts that are uh, out to the air. Oil can drip into them. You can get um, vapors in there and with those contacts. I don't know if there's any record of it, but uh, the contacts do spark and you can cause an issue. Now another thing you'll notice about these, our motors are a uh, low speed operation. <laughs> We run this motor at 1800 RPM and it's geared up through a high speed spindle. These spindles run anywhere from uh, 5000 RPM to say 7500 RPM. We've got a lot of experience designing spindles and we'll get into the spindle thing uh, later on in this video. Uh, but We get all of our speed by gearing up and driving a high speed spindle. The motor always runs at 1800 RPM, you know, in the 1800 RPM range. Um, it doesn't get hot, it lasts forever. Run it 24 hours a day. We get questions, what's the duty cycle? Well, it's continuous. You don't have to turn it off. You can run it as long as you want. As opposed to these uh, little motors, they run these little motors at uh, 3600 RPM and some sometimes they run them as fast as 6000 RPM. Um, it's gonna, you know, your bearings do heat up. Uh, and that is gonna cause an issue probably in the long run. As opposed to uh, how long they last. Uh, uh, another thing you have to deal with is uh, seals. Now these seals here um, are pretty good at holding the grease in. Um, you find them in all these motors. This one, you know, they look like this. They're little rubber seals. They go down and uh, keep, keep the, the dirt out generally and the grease in. The problem with these seals though is they, when you run them, they're good at keeping grease in, but they're not so good at keeping uh, oil and stuff out because uh, they wear on these uh, the shafts. Uh, Typically, if you're going to run this kind of a seal, you have to have hardened shaft, and uh, motors typically are just mild steel shafts. You're not going to get a real hard shaft on this. So, the, like I said, these are good for keeping uh, uh, oil grease in, but they're not so good for keeping oil out. And a common problem you'll have with this type situation, where it's directly under the bowl, is uh, you'll get a leak down through these seals, and, um, and it'll contaminate the bearings in the motor. Now, this spindle is sealed up. It's got uh, a couple of seals in, in here. Um, this seal never actually gets into the oil. It always rides high. We've got another video that shows us. But um, our spindle rides up high out of the oil, so it never actually goes all the way down in there. It sits up an inch and a quarter above uh, the oil there and even if the oil comes up this high, it's still sitting a quarter of an inch up over the top of the maximum height of the oil could be in this centrifuge. Um, that protects the seal from getting any, any oil down in it. it, keeps these bearings running a long time. Typically, you get between 2,000 and 4,000 hours on a set of bearings like this. Um, WVO, you get a little bit less, you get it in the 2,000 range, and for motor oil, you're getting around 4,000 hours runtime on a set of bearings like that. Uh, and they're cheap and easy to uh, replace. We do these one-day spindle turnarounds here at the shop, or uh, you can do it yourself. It's a commonly available bearing.